Hi there. Uh, in this video, what I'll be doing is demonstrating how to find a grid reference on a map. And it's really quite simple. Uh, or what I should say, it's quite simple when you know how. And that's what I'm going to tell you now. Right, you can see you've been given a grid reference. Okay, that's your grid reference there. So how would you find it on a map? Well, if you look at a grid reference, it contains two letters and a series of numbers. In this case, it's got six numbers. So this would be a six-figure grid reference. Uh, for better accuracy, <coughs> uh, you will sometimes be working with an eight-figure grid reference. Uh, but for this demonstration, I'll be working with a six-figure. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to split the grid reference into three sections. Okay? So after the first two letters, split it there, and then you see you're followed by six numbers. Count one, two, three, split it there. So now what you're left with is two letters, three numbers, and three numbers. So what you've actually done now is you found the sheet number, which these two letters here will indicate the sheet number of the map that you'll need for this grid reference. And then what you've done, the first three letters you found the Eastings and the last three numbers you found the Northings. Okay, so what you need to do, you need your map, a map obviously, and you'll need either a compass with a Roma scale on it or an actual Roma itself. Okay, now then, what you need to do, the first two letters, that's your sheet number of your map. So get a map, which is sheet number SH. And in this case, this is a map of sheet number SH. If you look at the top of the map, it will indicate what sheet number it is. You'll see the big two big letters in blue. <coughs> So, you found your map with le letter, uh, sheet number SH. So, we can ignore that. Now then, what you need to do now is find the Easting line on the map and the Northing line on the map. And if you look at your map, you'll see a series of, of lines. You'll see lines running across, which are the Eastings, and you'll see lines running up, which are the Northings. So what you do, first two numbers of the first section that you split, which is 9-1, that'll be an actual line on your map. That'll be an actual easting line on your map. Okay? And the first two numbers of the second section that you split off, which in this case is 57, will be an actual northing line on your map. Okay, so now what you need to do is get your map and look for the line, the easting line, number 91. Okay, so we get my map, and if we have a look there, you can see there's the easting line number 91. You can see 90, 91, 92, etc. But what we want is that line there with the number 91 on it. Right, so we found our easting line. What we need to do now is find the northing line. And we look here, and it's number 57. Okay, so we get a map again. Remembering where our easting line was, we look for the northing line. You can see there, number 57. Okay, so that was 91. There, that was our easting line. And 57 we've just found now, which is the northing line. And what you've actually done now, you've found a square on your map. Okay. So this grid reference is somewhere inside this, this square that you've just found. Okay. Right. So what you need to do now, you'll need your, either your compass, as explained, with a Roma scale or an actual Roma. And what you do 
is place the Roma scale onto the square that you've just found like that which is there okay now then get your grid reference so we found the easting ignore that and we found the northing line ignore that right the last number on the easting is a number four okay so get your Roma and slide it across so the number four is on your easting line okay the number four on your Roma you place it over the easting line so we just slide that across so that's the line easting line number 91 that we found and you place the number four on your Roma scale on that line okay so that's your 914 so we finished with that. Now then, look at your northing, and the last number is number seven. So what you do is carefully slide down and place number seven on the northing line. Okay, keeping the number four on the Roma scale on the easting line. Just slide down like so. So we've got the number 7 on our northing line, keeping the number 4 on our easting line. Okay. Now, you look at your Roma scale, uh, and where the 0 is, or this top corner here, okay, is placed over a position on the map. So we just move that out of the way, and we can see that it was over the end of a track just by this reservoir here which is that point there so this grid reference will be that point there on the map and that's it